Hey guys, happy Thursday. Three weeks and two days left of school, 17 days total, okay? So let's work hard. Let's finish strong, okay? Myself included. All right. Spent a lot of time on getting this video put together, so I'm going to go nice and slow through it. I hope it's helpful. Um, use, use similar triangles. Now this is a tricky problem. So I thought I would spend some extra time. Okay. So it says, find the area of triangle ABC. So find the angle of triangle ABC. That's this big old triangle right here. A, B, C. And it's only giving me very limited information. Okay. It's only giving me 3.0 for the side AC, and it's only giving me a little bitty part of AD down here. It's like, how the heck am I going to find everything it needs, right? Well, first off, let's let's go over the area of a triangle real quick, in case we need a little review here. So find the area of the following triangle. We're going we're gonna to do this problem right here, okay? over here as an example. But right here, I'm giving you the notes and I'm giving you the formula. Area of a triangle equals one half times the base times the height. All right. So over here, I'm giving you the base, right? In this case, the base is 17. So area equals one half times the base, which is 17 times the height, which is 12. If you punch this in your calculator, you will see you will get 102. And let's just write units squared. Okay. So that's just a quick review of the area of a triangle. Okay. All right. Now, back to the problem. Now, what you can see here is I've color-coded some things. Here's my original triangle over here, okay? And you can see um, I have color-coded the base as pink. That goes along with my base. You can see my formula down here. And then the height is right here. That's length DC, okay? So I need to be able to find both of those measurements before I can find the area of this triangle. All right, so what I've done here is I have drawn, I've redrawn my triangle over here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this into two triangles and that's, that's what's happened down here in this drawing, okay? So what you can see down here is that I've split it into the two triangles, right? So what I have down here, I'm going to go ahead and label these down here. So this triangle right here, this is going to be A, D, C. Okay. This big triangle, this big triangle is triangle A, B, C. Now we need to use the fact that these two triangles are similar. Well, which sides correspond to one another? Well, we know that angle A is equal to angle A, right? We also know that this angle right here is a right angle, okay? This angle right here is a right angle. Okay, so here we go. So these two correspond to each other. And we'll write our proportion in a minute. But right now we need to copy down the information that we have. We know right here that side AD is 1.8. And we know that side AC on the small triangle here is 3.0. Okay. 
So I can use this and I can do my Pythagorean theorem to find the length of CD right here, right? Of H, of this blue side, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solve for that. So I'm going to get 1.8 squared plus side CD squared, right? Or can I call this H? I'm just going to call it H, okay? H squared equals the hypotenuse, which is 3.0 squared. If I do all this math here, this is going to be 3.24 plus H squared equals 9. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract 3.24 from both sides. And I'm going to get h squared equals 9 minus 3.24, which is 5.76. And I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to get that h equals 2.4. So this right here is 2.4. I can just write that right in, okay? 2.4, this is 2.4, all right? 2.4. <laughs> all right. Now, well, okay, I have all the sides of this one triangle, right? But I don't have any sides of my other triangle, right? This big, long AB I don't have the whole side. Well, guess what? We we can do a little trick here, all right? So we know that we know that AD equals 1.8, but we don't know what DB is. So let's just call DB x. So if I call that x, what is the length of this entire side right here? Right? What's the length of this entire side? All right. Now, well, it's 1.8 plus x. Right? This whole side, the whole pink side is 1.8. I'm going to write this in. 1.8 plus x. All right? Okay. Now, what does this side equal? We know that we already know this side equals 3.0. Okay? So we're kind of in good shape here. All right? Um, now we just need to make a similarity statement. And what sides correspond to what sides? And this is where it could be a little bit tricky. Okay? So, we need to realize here that side AD corresponds to side AD corresponds to side AC, right? AD corresponds to side AC. And how do I know that? It goes from the congruent angle A to the 90 degree angle on each one of them. Okay. So AD is to AC as, and then now we need to compare side AB. Okay. Well, excuse me. Let's, let's go back to the small triangle. What side in the small triangle corresponds to side? Let me write, draw an arrow here. What side in the small triangle corresponds to this side, this side AB? Okay, that's going to be the trickiest part here, right? So if you said that side AC corresponds, so AC in the little triangle corresponds to side AB. 
you would be correct here. Okay. So now what we need to do, we're just going to keep in mind that the, the, these two measurements in the top, those are from the small triangle. These are from the bigger triangle, right? So we need to remember that. All right. So AD on the small triangle is one. I'm going to, I'm going to carry this equation up to the top of the page. So AD is 1.8 over AC in the big triangle is 3.0. AC in the small triangle is 3.0. And AB, which is the magic length that I want to find here, equals 1.8 plus X. So here's your proportion. And then now we are going to multiply these. So I'm going to multiply 1.8 times... 1.8 plus x, and that's going to equal 3 times 3, which is just 9. Now I'm going to use distributive property. 1.8 times 1.8 is 3.24 plus 1.8 times x equals 9. All right, so I'm going to subtract 3.24 from both sides. And we're getting really cramped over here on the side. So I'm going to get 1.8x equals 5.76. I'm going to divide both sides by 1.8. So 5.6 divided by 1.8. equals nice number of 3.2. So I can understand why this problem was sent to me. It's pretty detailed, right? So x equals 3.2, right? Well, what we're going to do, we're just going to plug in that x down here, okay? So we're going to plug in that X down here, right? So we're going to get 1.8 plus 3.2. And that's what my base equals. It's 5. Okay? So the base down here, that big long AB is equal to 5. Okay? I'm going to write that up here. Let's see. So the length of AB is equal to five, right? Or better known as little b, okay? Because that's the base of the big triangle. So we got one half times base times my height was 2.4. So if you plug this in your calculator, you're going to get one half times five times 2.4 is just six. So the area of triangle ABC should be six square units. All right, I hope that was helpful. A little bit messy, I'm trying to get a little bit better with the one note. Thank you for sending that problem. Please, we can we could probably talk about this one some more.
If you guys have any questions, please write your questions down. I'd be happy to answer them in the Zoom meeting tomorrow at 1. All right.